Oh my god. This is like the 2015 version of Santa's sleigh. This is how it works these days, guys. No more old school reindeer. They're fucking jets. This is great. Can't get you out of my... How's it going everybody? Dregast here and welcome to Simple Planes. This is another building game similar to something like Besiege or Kerbal Space Program, but you build planes. I mean, I could, you could probably tell that by the title. But you don't actually have to build planes. I've actually looked at a lot of the community creations. There's anything from Land Rovers to boxes to, of course, planes. So I figured this would be right up my channel's alley because you guys seem to love it when I play these building games. Um, this one has a lot of content in it. you got the school... Uh, you also got races, combat, challenges, and of course a sandbox mode where you can dogfight, you can download planes from other people's creations, and of course you can simply build and fly, and that's what we're going to do today. We're going to see how this editor works, we're going to build a plane, and hopefully take to the skies. Uh, that's the plan anyways. Okay, so here is the builder. It's not actually in the game. I would have liked to see it in the game, kind of like Besiege. But you kind of got this building platform here. That is, in fact, my cockpit. Now, we can add a bunch of different things to this. Structural wings, propulsion, landing gears, cockpits, gizmos. What's in gizmos? I'm curious. We got cameras, detachers, floating blocks, a lot of different cool stuff. Of course, weapons as well. I mean, you can get a lot of different weapons in here. And sub-assemblies. Well, there's none of those, so I guess we don't need to do those. But yeah, let's waste no time here. We are going to make a very simple plane, probably a blocky-like plane. There are some extremely realistic planes that I've seen in this game, so uh, don't judge it by me. We'll actually check out some other people's creations at the end here. For the start, we're going to make a nice long plane. Uh, I think that should be long enough. I actually don't even know how long the wings will be. Should we make a bottom floor as well because our cockpit's kind of hanging out there? I think we will. Uh, these are 22 pounds each. I don't want to make it too heavy, because then it's just harder to take off the ground. Okay, one thing I already noticed I don't like about this, you need to actually pull out every block. If you remember a Besiege, you can simply just keep building what block you picked. In this one, you can't do that. Uh, so it takes a lot longer to build something. But we got a little baseline here. Uh, this is my little plane. So structural, let's leave that. Let's go to wings and see what wings we need. We can do primary wings, vertical stabilizers, long pylon, pylon. So you can either create your own wings with pylons or just get their pre-built wing. But what's really cool about this game, because I have played it uh, for a very short while here. Let's try and get this at the right spot here. Okay, something like, I think that should be good. Now what's really cool is you can actually simply change this wing by double clicking on it. If I want it bigger, for example, drag up this arrow, want it longer, we can do that as well. So the customization is definitely here. This is something you don't see in Besiege, and I definitely like seeing this. So let's do something like, yeah, that looks good to me. That looks very wing-like. And now you can click this little fancy button here and mirror your plane so you get the exact same wing on the other side. That way you're not making some wonky ass wings that don't work together. Very cool design choice there. Uh, I really like that. It's extremely easy to build in this game. So it's something like a very simple Kerbal Space Program. That's how I would explain this game so far. Okay, and we're going to add a bit in the back here that is the wrong block. There's a block and a straight block. These ones are kind of rounded, so there is... I guess I didn't really show this list. There's actually quite a few different block types, and you can also customize these blocks and warp them to whatever you want. So you can make some seriously cool creations here. Again, I'm just making a blocky thing for right now. I don't even know how to play this game yet, so I'm hoping this thing can fly by the end of it. That's my goal. Uh, I don't know if that's hard or not. Okay, so now we need a vertical, vertical stabilizer. We'll put that right there. This is actually, I mean, for a blocky creation, this doesn't look that bad. I'm pretty damn happy with myself. Horizontal stabilizer, of course, we'll do that as well. Those actually look good at their current size, so we're going to keep that, mirror that shit. And now all we need is wheels. Oh, yeah, and an engine. <laughs> I, I forgot about the engine. My bad. Okay, so propulsion, we got... Oh, we need fuel tanks and everything, too. This is where it gets a little confusing. There's vertical takeoff, though. That's actually really cool. Let's just look for some sort of jet engine. You know what? This one's square-like. Yeah, this just this just matches my system here. So we're going to put that on the top. Should we put one on the bottom, too? I think that would be... No, I think that's enough. Uh, we'll add more when we actually get into the air and figure out how to fly this thing. Okay, and I guess we'll put uh, retractable... Oh, shit. These things are a lot bigger than I expected. I need two of them. Is there wing ones? Uh, wing landing gear. Look at that. Okay. So that is actually really big as well, though. Maybe I should do two of those way up here. This is going to be a really weird-looking plane, but I think it's going to work. 
Uh, get rid of that. We'll mirror this. That way we don't have to do it again, and it's in the perfect position. And then we'll just put one on the back. Yeah, something like that. Nice and small. There we go. That actually doesn't look too bad. Uh, I think that plan's gonna work just fine. Let's try it out, though. Okay, the first test of old Boxy. That's what we're gonna call her. Uh, because it's just basically a big box. But honestly, I'm pretty proud of the end outcome. It looks plain like it actually might work here. Let's find out. I Honestly, I don't know how to fly. I'm assuming the controls here. Oh, okay. Well, I did a somersault, but I don't think planes are supposed to do those. Okay, so going more into stats here, we got our center of mass right in the front, our center of lift in the middle, and our center of thrust in the back. I honestly don't remember how this is supposed to be set up. I know in Kerbal Space Program, it teaches you a bit about this. Maybe I should have done tutorials, but I feel like I gotta pull back the wings. I feel like that's my issue right now. Um, if we can fix this, that might be good right there. I have no idea. Again, I don't know how to fix those bubbles. Oh shit, you know what? That didn't help at all. We are really weighted forwards. So, hmm. Well, I've never seen a plane like this before, but let's try it out. I'm going to assume this isn't gonna go well, but at least it's weighted a little bit more evenly now. Okay, it's pulling forward again. <laughs> I can't get it to stop doing this. I'm assuming it's because the thrust is on top of the aircraft, and usually the jets are, of course, on the side. So maybe I should do that, put the jets on the wings, or maybe, you know what, I could just put it right on the side and put another one on the other side as well. Maybe down below this. That actually might be really good, and then we can drag this whole thing up. That's what I like so much about this game. You can pull any block off and move everything. It's just such an easy game to use. And uh, a lot of these building games are very confusing in, in the early stages. Okay, yeah, let's try that. We're gonna mirror this so we have two jets on the sides. I have no idea. This plane is just looking ugly right now, but we, let's hope for the best here. Third time's a charm. <laughs> this thing is almost dragging on the ground. Oh, well, we're going up. <laughs> We're going up and we went down. God damn, this plane likes to do somersaults. Maybe I should just start over here, or I should try and understand how flight dy dynamics work. All right, let's try this. A more normal plane-like design. We got the jets right below the wings. Usually they're actually attached to the wings, which I could try that as well. There's lots of things I can try. I'm actually... Oh yeah, there we go. Oh, I mean, it's not the easiest thing to fly, but I did it. I think I made... Oh yeah, this is totally fine. It turns really, really quickly, but I actually did make a workable plane. How amazing is that? Alright, let's go look around this map here. I don't have much fuel because I didn't add any fuel tanks to these. So the only things holding fuel are my wings. You can actually customize the wings too. Just choose how much fuel and weight you want. Um, this world is actually really small. There's a boat over there. It's looking like there's... Oh, there's a runway on this little island here. I wonder how high we can go. Let's find out. Oh yeah, this is this is an awesome game. I'm actually amazed I haven't seen any of this yet. The uh, developers were kind enough to send me a key. I also saw one of you mention it in the comments below, but other than that, I haven't heard anything about it. Uh, so yeah, I hope you guys like this game. Let me know what you think in the comments below. We can do a lot of the challenges and whatnot. I think it's a really good game for my kind of channel. Okay, I seem to have maxed out. It's not letting me go any higher, so we did make it pretty damn high. I don't know if that's a constraint with my plane or a constraint with the engine. Let's actually go down here. Oh my god, this camera is going to be the death of me. Let's go down here and see if we can land back on the runway. You can see it right below us. Okay, I turned off my engines. We're gonna be going in really fast only because I'm going straight down into this runway. This is not how you should land a plane. But this is how I'm gonna try and I'm gonna hope for the best here. I like how my wheels all chrome too. You can all you can paint this, do whatever you want to it. I just left it base color. Oh man, this game is not that bad. Like, usually, I mean you guys know how bad I am at flying things, so I'm actually amazed that I'm kind of able to control this. We're not gonna land on the runway, but hey. There oh whoa 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 whoa! <laughs> it bounced off! Come on! Come on, land it! Oh man, oh <laughs> I can't believe I can't believe I might do this. I mean not the best landing you've ever seen in a plane, but holy shit, I landed something without it exploding. I that 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 is that is a oh shit. Maybe I spoke too soon. Oh god, are you fucking kidding me? <sighs> totally fine. God, that was intense the whole time. That was actually really really fun. Uh, let's add some guns to this thing and try and dogfight it, shall we? 
Okay, so now that we know we have a working plane here, let's add some more weight to it, which is going to worry me, but let's add some weapons. So we got Guardian, Inferno, Inter In Interceptor, boom, so you can add bombs, you can add rockets. I want just miniguns, because I want a dogfight, so we're going to put a minigun right on the top here. Can I add them to the jets as well? That would be absolutely awesome. Oh, of course you can. Look at this. Oh, yeah, there we go. Just a bunch of miniguns, and then maybe some jets on the wings. Sorry, not jets. I don't know what I think. I don't know what I'm talking about. Missiles, interceptor. Do I have to get like a? Yeah, I might have to get like a missile rack or something. It might be in here. Uh, I don't know how else I would do it. Okay, so there's nothing in gizmos that can hold rockets. So I don't really know how to do it. Can I just add a bomb to it? Oh, what if we do a big bomb on the bottom? That is really freaking big. Uh, you know what? Let's try that. I don't know how to work these things. This is totally test. You know what? Let's do a test fight before we do a dogfight, just because I don't know how to shoot these things. So, um, yeah, it's going to be very interesting to try and understand this. Ooh, there's actually a cockpit camera as well. Look at that. All right, let's go up here and figure out how to shoot these. Okay, taking off. It's a little wobbly in this one. I don't think it's the perfect plane, but we can take off. Now, the big question is, can I somehow shoot? That would be great. Okay, so I do know how to shoot now. That is the space bar. Oh my god, this game would be super awesome with multiplayer. I hope they add it soon. Uh, I don't know how to drop the bomb, though. That's what I still gotta learn. I'm actually amazed it's able to hold all this weight and still react very similar to what it was before. What the hell just happened? I retracted my landing gear, and I'm assuming it hit the bomb and everything exploded. We st we're still in the cockpit here. We're totally fine, guys. Nothing happened to us at all. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> okay, it worked! I have no idea what the hell just happened. But if I saw a plane would do that, I, I, I would probably give it 10 points. That, that was a brilliant takeoff. I'm actually amazed I can still kind of control this. Okay, so I think I figured it out. You actually have to change your mode. There is multiple modes. Air-to-air -air mode, which is obviously dogfighting. Then you got the air-to-ground mode. Then there's a button down here, which you can click to drop your wonderful little bombs. <laughs> oh, I don't know how big this is going to be. I'm hoping it's big. Man, it's not even hitting... Did it? Did it? It didn't do anything! What the fuck? Did we have a dud? Oh. Okay. I just paused it. I heard it. I didn't see anything, though. God damn it. Okay, let's retry that. Hopefully there's a big explosion this time. Okay, we're gonna hardly get off the ground for this one, because obviously there's a draw distance issue with these bombs. So, let's try that again. Launch it right here. There we go. And explosion, please. Ah, yes, that's much better. Ah, oh, that felt good. Okay, so this plane is working. I'm actually amazed that I was able to build a plane that works so damn well. I mean, this thing is just majestic. Okay, now let's try the dogfighting sandbox mode. This should be fun. It, it is actually a versus screen. That is so adorable. Now, I did save my... Oh, there it is. Okay, I thought I didn't see it there. My little plane. I don't think I'm going to really compete with any of these bigger planes. You can see the stylized difference, though. It's not just, you know, boxy pit pixel art. These can all be created in the game as well. Uh, what do I even... have? What do I even have a chance with? I mean... I guess a seaplane, it doesn't even have weapons. I would just feel bad. Uh, is there anything here that I really have a chance with? A twin prop, I gotta assume I could probably fight that. So let's play. Okay, so I have no idea what's going on. We started in the air. Obviously, this is gonna be very War Thunder-esque. Oh, hey, there's a gray box in my distance. I'm going to assume that's the enemy. Let's go over there. Oh, now it's a green box. That's definitely the enemy. Good information, I like it. Okay, he's coming in close. We're 2.3 kilometers away. This thing is extremely hard to aim, so bear with me here. I'm going to try and hit him. I don't think it's going to happen, though. Oh my god, this plane, it's too jumpy. It is too damn jumpy, and I'm way faster than him. He's using, obviously, a prop plane. I'm using jets. So this is not a fair fight at all, and not an easy fight either. i got to have a really good aim. Oh god! Or I'm just going to do that and kill myself. Sweet. Whoa! Oh my god. That scared the hell out of me. I've been dogfighting this guy for a while. Obviously not hitting any shots at all. Only for him to fucking kamikaze me. The bastard! I guess technically I'm victorious, but I'm dead as well, so whatever.
Okay, guys, obviously my plane needs to be a little bit more upgraded to actually compete with those other planes. I'm actually really curious, though, to try some of these other planes out. Like a P-51 Mustang, that must be great to fly. Let's do P-51 versus P-51 and see if I can actually shoot these people down. Okay, so this is the P-51 Mustang, and I gotta say, a lot more easy to control than mine. Uh, definitely a lot more maneuverable. Unfortunately, there's no weapons on it currently. I thought there would be, so we're not gonna dogfight here, but just another example of a different plane you can make in this game. Look at this. Holy shit, we almost hit each other again. Okay, let's try and download some plans now. This is where this game really shines, in my opinion, if it gets the community it deserves. Uh, things like Besiege don't have this, and they still have a flourishing creative community. This game has a whole website dedicated to other people's creations. Uh, you probably won't see this, but I'll put an image in. Basically, it opens a Steam link where you can browse a bunch of different creations and pick which ones you like. Download them straight to the game. You don't need to play with any files or anything. It goes directly into the game and you're good. Alright, what the hell do I want to fly here? Okay, this one's called Alien Plane, one of the more sci-fi ones that I've seen. I don't even know how they built this. I don't even know how it's controlled. I'm excited to try it out, though, so let's do that. I don't know... Oh, God, what the hell is going on here? This is... This is very interesting. I don't know what these blue things do, but they intrigue me. Oh, my God, it works! Oh, not... Oh, shit, okay. Don't... There we go. Now it's evening out. Oh, my God, listen to the sound of this thing. This thing is just awesome looking. It's a little more slower than I expected, but it works just great. This thing is beautiful. Okay, because explosions are fun, let's hit the mountain here. This is this is this, this is how you do it. <laughs> I present to you the tuba. I was hoping I could fly the tuba, but I can't. It is merely just a tuba. So enjoy the tuba. I just like saying the word tuba. And because it's Christmas time, we gotta enjoy Santa's sleigh. <laughs> now, the reindeers are actually jets. How fucking awesome is this game? I so hope this game takes off because I want more like this. Besiege isn't enough. We need multiple games that are just as fun. Uh, oh my god. This is like the 2015 version of Santa's sleigh. This is how it works these days, guys. No more old school reindeer. They're fucking jets. This is great. And on that note, I think we're going to end this one here, guys. Let me know what you think of this game, seriously, because I think this is going to be another staple of the channel. I know we got a lot of different series going on. Uh, we'll come back to this one, and we'll keep an eye on it, see what they're updating, because I absolutely love this game. I hope you do as well. Thanks once again for all your support, guys. Remember, if you do like what you see, give, give it a like. The more likes it gets, obviously, then I know that you guys are actually enjoying this content. So once again, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.